up everybody? How's it going? This is uh, first little vlog we got today. Uh, driving around right now, running some errands. We tried, uh, you know, we've had some people over the past few days. So, uh, house is a little dirty, we gotta clean it up. Be some adults, do some goddamn dishes. What else we got planned today? We're gonna try to get some more vocal samples. We're trying to get a thousand in total for our uh, vocal pack. I got a bunch of rebranding stuff going on and a bunch of music stuff and some uh, people to talk to about releasing a song or two. Uh, I think we might hit up the beach today actually. He, been here for like three and a half weeks and he's been to Santa Monica but he hasn't actually you know been to any other beaches you know like a, a real beach that's not a, a tourist spot I would say like Santa Monica but yeah I mean that's it update you guys throughout the day of what we got going on um, let you get a sneak peek into some of the stuff that's going on too that we don't really talk about we try to keep quiet you know so yeah, let's do this. First vlog. Hope you all enjoy it. Just got dressed, took a shower, got looking a little bit decent, half decent, you know. Um get started over here a few seconds a few minutes maybe rather let's be a little bit more logical uh, I'm gonna get started over here on um, I think I'm gonna do a drop arrangement I think I'm gonna show off some drop arrangement and how I go about setting up my drops and whatnot um, you know kind of give down the lowdown and explanation on just how I go about that it's not something that's super hard but something that might be super handy so stay tuned for that what is up everybody we have a uh, little template right here that i've gone ahead and done uh, maybe spent like 20-30 minutes on a little drop. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the arrangement. So let's give a little overview to what we got. We got some drums. We got uh, our hits, which are going to be our bass hits. We got our leads, our synth leads. We got our vocals, uh, a main vocal, kind of a backing vocal, and then uh, a switch vocal. Got some effects. We have a uh, riser and, you know, just some air sweeps and whatnot. We got an 808. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, single all of these and show you what they sound like. All right. So we got our drums. We got our hits. We got our bass leads. Sorry, just our leads. Bass hits and then our leads. Right. We got our vocals. Right. Our effects. Then we got our 808. Right. So the first thing I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and you know lay out my drums in a simple beat. Right. And I like to start off with a bass hit. So I'm gonna go over one thing first. Whenever I make my songs, either I'm gonna start my lead on my third beat or my second beat. So in this case, I have it on my third beat. Right, whoops, wrong beat, right there. 
So on my third beat uh, is when I'm actually going to have my lead hitting and I'm going to follow my lead out for the rest of the bar, right? Or if I want to, you know, I can take up a whole another space until I, you know, get my two bars in or whatever, however many you want to go. So um, what I have is, you know, I like to do a bass hit and it's going to the second bar. So I have my kick and my hit, right? But then there's that open space in between. And, you know, either I would do that out by, you know, fill it up, I'm sorry, by, uh, you know, putting another lead or putting a vocal or whatever I wanted to do or even making the bass hit, you know, uh, extra beat long. But uh, I decided to go with the vocal. So I dragged in some vocals, you know. So we got, now we're going to have our bass hit for the first beat. Our second beat is going to be this vocal. And then on the third beat, we're going to have a snare, which is when our lead's going to start. So each little increment, uh, each little beat is going to have its own sound, right? So we're going to have... Let's go! So we're going to keep that going. You know, for about, what is that? I think that's a bar. Yeah, so we're going to do that for a bar. So then we're going to repeat it, right? Same thing. First hit, uh, first beat, bass hit. Second beat is a uh, vocal. So, uh, you know, you can switch it up, give it a little bit more variation, maybe pitch up your second bass hit. Crank it. You know, pace, uh, pace it up, <laughs> pitch it up. Uh, semitone or whatever you know put a whole different bass hit whatever you think sounds good to you but try to keep that arrangement you know where you're gonna have your first hit for every new bar or every two or every four however you want to do it but every first hit either you know for however many beats you want to take up but I like to go to my third beat so you're gonna want that first hit because that's what's gonna give it that impact so we got our first hit, vocal, now we got a lead, right? So we got our drum singled, our bass hits, our lead, and our vocal. So then we're going to get this because our third beat, we're going to get that snare coming in, and we're, then we're going to get the lead to fill out the rest, right? So let's go! Crank it! Stuttered there a little bit caught some CPU um, but yeah you know just keep that same arrangement right so keep it till your last bar right here where we're gonna you know we're, we have bass hit vocal lead right lead all the way to there then we have bass hit vocal lead all the way till there so we're gonna Go ahead and keep that rotation, uh, or not rotation, that uh, arrangement. And, um, you know, I've added in a few kicks here and there, just kind of give it a little bit more variation. But we're going to get to right here. So we're having our last bar, right? last two bars or I'm, I apologize I'm sorry we're gonna have our last bar okay so from say 15 to 17 this is gonna be our ending section so what we're gonna do differently with our ending section compared to everything else is see right here in the lead we have it filling up all the way to the end well we're gonna want to cut out that last little beat that last uh, beat right there and leave it open right so what that's going to do is it's going to leave a little open end space, you know, for a big impact or a, a vocal. I like using the switch, you know, anything that you really would enjoy to do. Um, <laughs> Judge just came out. <laughs> um, so what we'll end up doing then is um, I'll have my bass hit and I'll do it. I'll have this uh, first bar that I have because remember, we have two bars to work with, right? So this first bar is going to kind of keep on the music, like keep it going so it, it stays fluid, but we're going to build it up like, like the build up, you know, before your drop, which is going to be right here. So our last bar, or if you want, 
your last two bars are going to be the section that you uh, build up again going into your next section of the drop. What that's going to do is it's going to add variation and make it not sound like you're just, you know, duplicating and trying to switch some things. So when we end up doing that and we end up cutting off this last little bit, you know, I all I did was put three kicks in a, in a row, you know, nothing complicated like a regular four on the floor. And then instead of having my synth hit right here, I took all of the music out. And I'm going to have this switch hit, right? So it's going to sound like this. Switch. So it has that nice, that nice build up that makes it sound like, oh, you know, it lets the listener know, oh, the song's progressing into the next part now. Like, so I better be ready because it's about to get sick, right? So um, let's get into that switch. So I compared to the first part, you know, we got this kick right here. In my switch, we don't right here. We don't have that kick. We don't have that first snare, right? I'm cutting out all my instruments. So let me single off the lead. See, so my drums aren't hitting till the next bar compared to this. Let's go. So what that's doing is it's giving you anticipation um, while the lead's going. It's giving you more anticipation, again, uh, for the listener to, to know that you're going into a heavier part. Um, because, you know, like, you could understand your music any way you want, but when other people are listening to it, you know, a, a normal person who doesn't understand all this, you know, they need indications that something's about to change to them um, because they can't tell, oh, that producer just did that, and, you know, that's how he made it go into the next part of the song. So um, we're dropping out all that music, right? And... We're going to wait for my drums to come into the next part right here, into the next bar. Our first open bar after the switch. Whoop. So our first bar after the switch is going to be all open, right? We're going to want to keep the lead in there. I decided to bring in some vocals right here. Right? So this is also going to build anticipation as well for that whole open bar that you don't have those drums and you have all that open area you know, bring in some more noises, some risers, or, you know, a reverse brass coming up, like. So that's pushing it into that next bar where our music's all gonna hit again. And we're gonna have that just huge cluster of, like, emotion and music going on. So, all together, you're gonna get this. Let's get it. Right, got a little, a little too CPU y at the end, but whatever, it's all good. So, um, you know, we're gonna keep the same, same thing for the end again. Remember our last bar, right? Either our last bar or half, or our last two bars or our last bar is gonna be that build up that. That's saying we're going into the ending now, like, you know, the drop's done, or we're going into the next part even. So, um, as we're doing that, you know, you kind of want the music to fade out, right? Because we're going to bring it back into the actual music, not the drop anymore. So uh, this is a free free Ableton Live thing, whatever you would like to call it. I can't use the correct terminology right now. But uh, it's Bass Clef's Easy, e easy, easy Wash Out. So this is pretty much a bunch of different filters and delays and reverbs that uh, Bass Clef, who amazing, has a bunch of free stuff and everything and uh tutorials um ableton expert he's he's created this this one knob right that is uh it's a huge space knob pretty much if you don't know about this you need to get on it right sorry for the loudness i should have warned you but um so it's a space knob filter yada 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 so we got this last bar now right our progressing bar so uh, i said well let's give it some space and make it sound like it's being sucked out so instead of that last synth hit where we'd put or we took the synth hit out and we put a switch there on the other bar right this time we have a synth hit but it's uh since this switch is an octave up it's our octave down synths 
and we're going to put it there because it's going to sound like it's sucking it back to the original music and it's not going to be so high pitched as, you know. So then we just have the easy wash, you know, just going up a little bit, dragging it out on that last synth hit. Like so. And then you'd go into your next part, you know, you got your got your kick right there, and then you're gonna go into your impact and the rest of your music. Um, so I mean that's a basic drop arrangement that I like to do, and I just try to keep that same format every time. You know, of course, always have different noises, but I like to keep that the same as much as I can. Another thing I like to do is uh, these reverse kicks along with my uh, effects, right? Going into or on the end of every bar. So let me just single this actually. So we have that, you know, that reverse kick, but it's going into the kick. So it just gives it more of an impact, full feeling. Whoop, sorry. And then, um, you know, after, I, I didn't do it in this one, but what I like to do is when we get all this music back, right, for the second part after the switch, we're, we're cutting out all the drums, and when we finally get it back on that next bar, uh, it's really cool when you, um, you put your hi-hats on the third beat, right? So then it's going to come in, and it's going to bring even more emotion, and it's going to fill out the track a lot better. But that is about it for my drop arrangements. So um, hope you guys liked it and whatnot. Uh, I think I will probably give this away, convert everything down to all Ableton because I got a few third-party plugins. But I'll do that, and uh, you know maybe if I get a certain amount of likes or whatnot, you guys can go ahead and just swoop this up and see exactly beat for beat, little little bar by bar how I went about it. Move on the bass drop. That shit boom.